where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there Transformers fans and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review and today this is part 3 of the Velocitron Speedia 500 Walmart exclusive line Scourge. Robots in disguise or car robots Black Convoy Scourge. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, this was not the figure I had to hunt the longest to find. In fact I actually found Scourge pretty quickly when I when I when these started popping up. But he was definitely the figure I was most excited about for the Velocitron line. R.I.D., while it might not be the best Transformers series out there, it had a lot of really cool characters. It, I would say it's still one of the best Transformers toy lines, especially unique toy lines of its, of its time. Um... I mean, a lot of the R.I.D. toys still hold up to this day as far as detail and articulation. And really, the original R.I.D. Scourge is pretty great by comparison to this one. This one just has, I think in my opinion, a little bit better articulation and a little bit better detail. Um, I know some people disagree, and that's totally fine. Uh, but I, I, do like, I do like this figure a lot. And I was very, very excited for this figure. I mean, from the second they announced Laser Optimus for the first wave of Legacy, I was like, cool. That means we're probably getting a Scourge very soon. And lo and behold, within the same year, we got Scourge. And here he is. He looks awesome. Uh, you got the awesome Scourge artwork there. Got him in his tanker truck mode in the front. In the artwork, you got uh, him firing off some rockets from his shoulder-mounted missile pods. More of that artwork there on the side, just close up. On the back, you've got product shots of the toy, and that's pretty much it for the box. Let's get him out here. So there he is. He's, he's in truck mode in the box, just like the rest of the figures in this line. They're all in their vehicle mode. So there's that. Get his sword out. There's his red Energon sword. The Energon axe. I'm getting that out. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. Just like with the Laser Optimus, you can, of course, combine the uh, Energon sword to that axe to make a larger weapon. Um, and, of course, with the uh, blaster that comes off of the tanker here. There it goes. Let me plug that on. right there make it a make it a bigger weapon it's neat I'm just happy we have the sword and the axe is neat too I know I never really cared for this little Energon axe though to be honest it's not really my thing now he does roll really well and tow his trailer like a scourge should his trailer does transform just like the legacy Optimus Prime trailer um, into like a little battle base mode or repair station mode with the little claw. I'm not going to focus too much on going step by step on the transformation. If you want to watch it, go back and watch the old Laser Optimus review that we did. It might not be on the YouTube channel. It was on the YouTube channel yet. I'll repost it to the YouTube channel uh, when the, the same day I post this video. So you can go back and watch that one was posted. Um, it was one of our Facebook reviews back when we were just doing them on Facebook. But there you go. There's the base. If you want to watch the Laser Optimus review, go back and watch that. Pretty neat. I, again, not super great. Maybe not as cool as the original toy, especially with all the disc launching gimmick and missile firing gimmick and stuff, but still pretty cool. And here he is in his truck mode. He looks, I think, really awesome on his truck mode. You got the little teal highlights and stripes in a couple of places. Got the windows with the teal borders on them. This, this is what I was most excited about when they announced this mold. So very excited. And, and definitely 
you know, one one of the more awesome Scourge characterizations. Um, probably my favorite characterization of of somebody bearing the name Scourge, and and the only other two standouts really are Generation One Scourge and of course Cybertron Universe Scourge. Which Cybertron Universe Scourge is cool too. Um, I think he's cooler in design than characterization, but. This one, I think, beats them out both for me, both in design and characterization. I just I love I love the black oil tanker truck with the teal highlights and, you know, that Nemesis Prime look is just so cool for him. Um, and, and he was a really, really awesome um, scheming, high-ranking Decepticon. Uh, so way, way cooler as a scheming, high-ranking Decepticon in Starscream because he actually had the power and strength to back up what he talked about and came really, really close to actually defeating Megatron straight up or Galvatron or Gigatron straight up in that universe versus, you know, sniveling Starscream. But, uh, but yeah. All right, transformation is just like the Legacy Optimus. Um, we're going to start up here with the front of the cab. We're going to bring up these flaps down here just to kind of get them out of the way. Going to untab all of that and just kind of bring that down like so. Next, we're going to kind of untab these arms from the back of the legs, bring these down a little bit, because we're not going to bring them down all the way yet. Fold the little uh, fuel canisters in, fold these knee pads down, and next up, we're going to open the back of the cab, or top of the cab, rather, like so. Untab these door sections and kind of get them out to the side. We're going to bring that waist down, rotate that waist around. You can see it's starting to form out a little bit more. Next, we're going to come up to the grill here. We're going to push that through all the way around. And then there you go. Fold those abs, click it into place like so. There's pretty much the front of the Nemesis or Scourge, whichever whichever you prefer to call him. Next, we're going to fold up the head part. Just going to bring that forward a little bit. And then we're going to fold these shoulder bits out. There we go. There's a lot of like moving and readjusting to get this guy out. Next, we're going to bring those shoulders back up so that we can get everything lined up like we need it to. Bring these sections in. Fold those shoulders out. Next, we're going to collapse the torso onto it. And we're nearly there. Bring that text, that front of the torso section, tab it into place, rotate those biceps around, open up the panel on the forearm there. The wrist is on a ball joint. So he does have fully articulated wrists. Bring that fist out, close that down. Same over here. Open that, open that forearm section. Fold that fist out, close that down. Like so. Next we can close this section back up. Click the head down into place. Click the shoulders down into place, or shoulder, shoulder missile pod, stack things down into place. Untab the legs, fold out the feet, and there he is in robot mode. And he looks great. He looks really, really good in robot mode, very scourgely. Those, those teal colors really, that metallic teal color really pops against the black and the translucent red plastic. Here is, of course, his sword, which is the main weapon he wields in the show. Um, now, you can give him his blaster from his trailer, his tank trailer, which, yep, kind of, kind of similar to the design of the one he has. Um, I just so happen to have, I don't have the original Scourge toy, but I just so happen to have the blaster from it, I guess, for some reason. 
Um, and he can hold the original blaster. It actually looks kind of cool in his hand still. So I guess if you just ha so happen to have one lying around like I did, there you go. There's that. Um, he is fully articulated, has the same articulation as Laser Optimus. Head is on a ball joint. Fully articulated shoulders. Now, the shoulder stacks do get in the way, but they're adjustable, so there you go. And the little pads right here do flip up and down, too, so it does give you more clearance if you want to have him raise his sword or point his blaster straight forward at Autobots and stuff. Um, upper biceps single jointed elbows wrist is on a ball joint which i covered earlier during transformation waist hips single jointed knees and side ankle joints now as awesome as the paint job is and i love the teal especially that's that's one of my favorite colors on this guy's design i wish he had a little bit more of it um especially on the waist here where optimus would you know have like maybe some yellow highlights on his on his hips and stuff um, I would have liked to see some teal paint in some of these areas, just a little bit more, maybe some more silvery plastic, like like a silver plastic on the fuel tanks for the truck mode. I think that would have been nice to kind of break that up a little bit. Um, other than that, I feel I feel like the paint job's pretty spot on. I think it looks great. And my favorite part, and one of the things I got most excited about when they were revealing this guy for the first time during the Pulse live stream is... He has the correct insignias. Now, I know some people have been complaining online or like, why does he have upside down G2 logos? In Car Robots, Scourge had, or Black Convoy, had the upside down G2 logos in black. And it was awesome. It was such a cool, unique take on a Decepticon insignia. Um, and, I, and I know some people are getting um, reprodu repro labels or toy hacks labels to, to put over that with Decepticon insignias. Cause in the American cartoon, he did have Decepticon insignias, but in my opinion, that's way cooler. And I'm a Decepticon in life through and through. And I, I think for this guy, that's more unique to his character, which was one of the cooler things about his character was he wasn't in the show, just a repaint of Optimus. Um, while he does, resemble Optimus he is a repaint of an Optimus toy in that show aside from his head sculpt and having a being based off of off of an Optimus Prime design he looks nothing like Optimus Prime in that series which was I thought really cool now another really awesome feature um Scourge doesn't traditionally have a matrix but this one does since the laser Optimus came with a removable matrix they repainted the matrix um for the Scourge figure, so he does come with his own Matrix. It is still a little tough to get out of there, just like with the Optimus figure. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that in there for now, but I, I really like the translucent red core of his Matrix. I think that's awesome. So there you go. And for comparison, here he is next to the Legacy G2 Laser Optimus figure. So you can see how they stand side by side. Again, really cool. I, I really do like this mold a lot. And I added the proper G2 logos to my Laser Optimus rather than him have the G1 design logos. See, even I even I use Toy Hacks and stuff. I, I actually really love Toy Hacks. They, they have really great labels, and they last. I mean, I, I have to this day yet to have a single issue with one of the labels that I put on a figure that I've gotten from them, so... And some of their upgrade sticker sheets are just out of this world. For some of those Prime Universe figures, it's it's like a night and day comparison. All right, so here's Scourge, and here he is next to the original Scourge. So here is G1 Universe Scourge. Not even remotely the same character. The only thing these two characters share is a name. Same deal with the Cybertron Universe Scourge. Here he is. And, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because we got Legacy uh, Metroplex, Cybertron Universe Metroplex, and in the Speedia line, the Velocitron line, we got um, Legacy Override. So we got two really cool updates to, uh, to some really awesome characters from the Cybertron cartoon. Fingers crossed that they do a Scourge also, 
at some point. I would I would love to see a new uh, modern take on Scourge. Not that this figure itself really needs much of an update. I mean, I feel like Hasbro kind of nailed it the first time out of out of the Cybertron line. I mean, if if they had to tweak it, I would. The only thing I would say really needs to be tweaked the most is some wrist articulation so that you can have his elbows facing forward, I think would be nice. Um, actually, I think that's really the only thing. I, I mean, removing the electronics too, because he doesn't really need them. That's really the only thing I would change is give him wrist articulation. I think that's the only thing I really want most for an update of this figure. And a repaint of a properly scaled Trypticon with this mold since in the uh, Classics line we did get a repaint Trypticon in the small scale. Yeah, Trypticon's never been a dragon other than that, but Trypticon's my favorite Transformer, so I would like to see a better scaled one with that mold too. But anyway, there you guys go. Thank you so much for tuning in to part three of the Velocitron set review. Part four is going to be the final review featuring IDW Universe Blur and Cybertron Universe Override. The two... Um, racer-ist characters in the, in, in the whole line. I mean, out of all of the characters in the set, out of all eight figures, they're the ones who belong in this set the most more than anybody even more than scourge i think he might have actually been in the race in the cartoon though they're not in the cartoon sorry um uh, in the comic the in the idw speedia race event where knockout ended up winning spoiler alert but it's weird knockout was in regular wave two of legacy when he was actually in the comic and part of the race and it's weird that he wasn't in the race and there was characters not in it that we're in the line. Weird, I know, but I can't explain everything Hasbro does. I can try to explain or understand some things, but not everything. Stay tuned for part four, where we finish off this whole line, and stay tuned for other Transformers reviews that we do here on Bay 12, as well as all the other kinds of reviews we do here on Bay 12. Follow us on social media. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our awesome reviews, and stay tuned for our Bay 12 live sale that we do on our Facebook guys later we'll see another time transform and roll out that's it man game over man game over <laughs>